Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today we'll be doing a reaction review of Bleach 673. So here we go without further ado. Bleach chapter 673. And the title for this chapter is Father. So let's see what have they just what have they just what the heck is that? Stumbled into. <laughs> so apparently Rukia and, and Renji were on their way somewhere. And apparently when they were making their way there, there was this big roar and this huge giant seemed to just like fall onto the field. And they're like, what the heck is that? So let's see here. Kuchi Yamurai, you're still alive? The man you cross blaze with does not hold a candle to this thing. Saying it's a monster would be an understatement. Tread carefully. So we see, of course, Hitsukai again is in, a, um, is in adult formation. Who the hell is that? Oh, come on. His voice should be a dead giveaway. <laughs> so Rukia is like, really? To Renji, he's like, really? You don't know who this guy is? His voice should be a dead giveaway. And let alone that he has ice around his shoulder as an actual caller. That alone should be a dead giveaway. Like, come on, Renji, buddy, wake up. He hasn't changed that much. Clearly, is it is a Commander Hitsugaya's older brother. Oh, quick thinking, pleased to meet you. Uh, yes, it's an honor to finally meet the both of you. <laughs> so, um, so Rukia says, oh, quite frankly, it's uh, Hitsugaya's oldest brother, right? And it turns out it's not his older brother. They're like, oh, and then he goes with it. And he's like, yeah, yeah, nice to meet you. And yeah, Kuchki here, Byakuya, he's like, really? He's like, not even, not even gonna try, are you? <laughs> he really isn't trying, you know, at this point. And you have Uriyu now, he's kind of feeling something. He's like, wait a minute, what was that? So Ichigo's fight has begun. And I have a feeling Ichigo released his Bankai. Because nobody ever makes that face unless if Ichigo releases his full power. And that's no, like that little shock face, like what was that? Everybody just like, what the? So 673, Father is the name of this chapter. So without further ado, let's get into this chapter and let's bang this out quickly because I have a whole lot of content coming to you guys today, of course. Before his very eyes, Ichigo. So basically, he didn't release his Sapato yet, but he just like rose his his Retsu and everybody's just like, oh my god, that's Ichigo. So basically, he doesn't have to release his sword at all. He could just sit there and just like raise his energy. People would just like, you know, look up like, wow, what the hell was that? But they would know it's him because his energy is more of this crimson red color. So feel, feel, feel free to draw your blade. You're left yourself full of openings. It's what I'd like to say. So you watch is like, oh, you left an opening for yourself. It's like I like saying, but here it goes. But it appears as though that would be far from the truth. In fact, so much red sewer is overflowing from your body that it has begun to take visible form. You've grown stronger, or rather, you have attained your true original power. You already know what that is. If you've watched uh, like the original, like the first first part of the series when Ichigo was growing, his original power was basically you know, um, summoning this hollow mask to enhance his energy. He's kind of on par with spotter number four, Ukiyora Schiffer, or Cypher, as you remember him. You know, the guy with the uh, Murcielago, which is translation for bat in Spanish um, formation. He's probably like up to his level and not at the same level as Aizen, most likely, from that battle that we saw before when he faced off with Aizen. And he was able to taunt him fully without batting an eye, obviously. Now, how will you greet me? Will you say hello from the right or the left? I'm anxious to see what you're capable of. What are you babbling about? You can see it, can you? Exactly how, when, and where I'm going to, to try to attack you. I am not using my power. For such a long-awaited meeting between father and son, I'd be remiss not to savor every juicy moment. What the hell? You're not my father. Ah, yes, Kurosaki Ishin. He was merely a surrogate father to you. You should have already heard by now about the true source of your power. Yeah, I heard. And what of it? 
So apparently he's saying that no, Ishin is your surrogate father, but I am your real father. Thus, your issue is you never realize you have Quincy and Soul Reaper's abilities. Don't you dare say you're my parent. You are the man who killed my parent. Is this about your mother? You're still the ever past too late little schoolgirl Ichigo. So apparently, if this is correct, that means his father was the one behind the killing of his mother, which in which case is not good, because he's definitely gonna get his, ha his ass handed to him, obviously. So action sequence right off the bat. So he lets go of kind of with this shock wave, and if his is, if you watch his father, for now I'll say you watch, he's kind of like phased a bit by the fact that he's like his power's just grown this strong. So he uses Getsuka Tensho, you know, one of his signature moves that he learned ever since as a substitute Shinigami or Soul Reaper. So let's see here, where does this go from here? Okay, here we go. So Getsuka Tensho, of course, one of those like, you know, abilities he has learned since a young um since he was young, you know, he still uses it. There's nothing about it, you know, he still uses it. And we see a big slicey, you know, light and dark clash, obviously, here. More action sequences. Uh, Orihime builds a shield to protect him. So I'm basically just narrating what's going on right now, action-wise, if you guys are a bit lost. That's what I'm doing, just narrating page, anywhere from page probably 14 to 16. Just pretty much, um, you know, narrating or commentating on what's going on in the battlefield. So right now his power is basically, he's using his power to attack Ichigo. And he seems to be kind of pinned down right now at the moment, but he was summoning shields to protect him from it. And it seems like he's able to slice through his power as well with his secondary blade that he has. To, to still be soaking over something so insignificant. A person's life was taken because there was no other choice. Their very existence was nothing more than to provide me with sustenance so that I could give birth to you. There is absolutely nothing at all to lament here. So apparently he has no feelings for the loss of Ichigo's mother. For there is no greater possible honor and joy in the world. Uh, I'm doing a video. So Kurosaki, but sadly our car conversation must come to an end. It's been fun, truly. Now then, you shall bear witness to me in all my wondrous glory, Ichigo. The Emperor stands. So that was it pretty much for chapter 673, page uh um page 20 really. Chapter 673, um father is the name of this chapter, and right now we pretty much got a taste of him probably revealing some truth that maybe perhaps Ishin is not his father, is a surrogate father. Surrogate parent is a parent who takes place for your actual parent. Basically, um, in, sh in short, they're the ones that are in charge of raising you while your real parents are away. And he makes it that him himself, you watch, is indeed his father. And this gets Ishigo angry to the point, and at the end right there, we see that he actually stands up from the chair and he says that Ichigo will join him in, in glory. And in the end, it says the Emperor finally stands from his chair. And Orihime seems to be shocked about something. And that probably has to do with the way you watch Luck in latest new form. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for listening and joining me today for this reaction review. And have a great day. And of course, don't forget, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to follow me up on Twitter. Uh, I'll be bringing you more content today, so stay tuned and have a great day.